hi everyone welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you how to do a simple Dutch pour with just paint and water some people use pouring mediums and flow draw in the Dutch pour but I'm going to show you today nice and simple just paint and water consistency and I'm going to be using Pebio studio acrylics white that's going to be the base for my Dutch pour and purple and two more colors I'm going to mix two more colors and we are going to do a simple Dutch pour as well after mixing the paints so let's begin with I'm going to start with white for Dutch pour consistency I don't measure the paint so the consistency of the paint to water is very thin so on the stick the paint should slide down very very easily into very thin consistency but it should still uh, coat the stick and it should run very very easily very quickly and I will do a drip test as well for that so let's start I'm going to start pouring water slowly a little bit at a time not too much make sure there are no lumps in the paint that's why I need to add a little bit at a time It will take a little bit of time when you're mixing it, but it's you know, it, it's very good just to make sure that there are no lumps in there, and also I make sure the paints are rested. Uh, overnight is good for a few hours is good so that just to make sure there are no um, air bubbles inside. And I also use a um, um, heat uh, blow torch to blow the, any of the bubbles when I'm doing Dutch pour. So as you can see, this is very, very thick at the moment. It's just falling, it's, it's like a blob of paint. It's too thick. So you should also make sure the paint is very thin so that it can um, spread out and blow very easily when using a blow dryer on the canvas. If your paint is too thick, it's not going to, the paints are not going to move easily. If the paint is too thin, uh, you're not going to have a very good effect. And it will just just run and just the paints will break as well so it should be right so this is looks slightly better it's rolling back from the stick and it's still leaving a little coat as well that is coating the stick as well but still not ready for a Dutch pour so I'll keep on adding more water Yeah, I think it's ready now as you can see it's going back very very quickly into my cup and it's still coating the stick so this is the right consistency for a Dutch pour I'm going to leave this one here to rest and I'm going to start with the purple as well so a tiny bit of purple start to begin with just a tiny bit of water a few drops And keep on stirring keep on mixing if you put too much water it's very difficult to con um, correct it correct your uh, mixture or the paint so that's why it's very important to just keep on adding a tiny bit so you can see the paint is going right back inside my pot and it's not leaving any mound and by still coating my stick as well and I also do a, a drip test as well with my Dutch pour paints and all the other paints for the drip test you can use any piece of cardboard paper anything you like and it's, it's a good way of checking if all of your paints are the right uh, consistency for whatever whichever kind of pour you are doing so Let's take this one. Both of these, my white and my blue, are at the same level. They're flowing down very easily at the same speed on my uh, canvas, on, the, on this panel here. So for this pour, I'm going to be using a small canvas. And we're going to spread the canvas, coat the canvas with white, white base. 
and then I'm going to be using three different colors I'm going to be using my this purple which I've mixed already a red and a nice blue color and then I'm going to show you a very simple and nice touch pour I'm also going to be using my blow torch and my blow dryer for this uh, Dutch pour so stay with me and let's start our Dutch pour painting so you can see my paints are ready into the right consistency for the Dutch pour very thin consistency so they can flow easily on my canvas to begin with I'm going to base coat my canvas my paints have rested and I'm going to base coat the canvas and I'm going to use a blow torch to make sure there are no air bubbles otherwise the air bubbles uh, will show after the paint is uh, dried and there will be tiny holes and tiny pockets in the in the canvas so this is to make sure there are no air bubbles on the canvas so I'll make sure use my blowtorch now just popping the bubbles now so I'm going to start layering the paints now I'm going to make puddle in the middle and then I'm going to drizzle the white paint around as well around this puddle Just a few drops in as well and just a little drizzle of white paint outside so the paints can move easily okay so what I plan to do is I'm going to blow the paints inside the white paint inside first and then I'm going to go outwards nice and simple Dutch pour the, the colors are amazing nice colors and you can see some beautiful lacing here some lovely cells beautiful lacing it's a bit bigger uh, like a bloom like a big flower on a small canvas but the results are very very nice let me show you get it down on the canvas and you can have a close-up so you can see, nice and beautiful lacing here, pretty colour, few cells, I like the middle part, very nice, with a few puddles of red, look at the cells here, lovely cells. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching.